Yeah, I'm Steve Osowitz, by the way. Um, I think that um, I had a conversation with John Sharn oh, maybe a month ago. And uh, my concern, uh, and, it, and it is a concern, is um, primarily the, the, you know, the education, um, you know, aspects of the school. And my hope would be that um, in and of itself, or the way the school was and how it functioned and so forth, uh, really wouldn't happen in the school district that I was, I was uh, part, party to. Um, <clears throat> Yesterday I was supposed to come to Brentwood High School to speak to a, a Bible club. I'm a youth pastor now. <clears throat> and uh, I find uh, the environment that we were educated in for a year um, allowed a lot of, a lot of folks um, to flounder. Um, the, the dream was to prepare for college and uh, working, with, uh, working with teenagers and working with the young um, they need parameters, they need goals, they need to continually be encouraged. And um, given, giving teenagers um, a lazy, fair, lax a lackadaisical government to operate and function in, um, I don't believe um, brings out the best of them. <clears throat> I'm not saying that Brentwood High School 1975 or 74 was the best thing for students. I'm not saying that. But I'm, not, I'm also saying that uh, an alternative to that, just because something is not, is not um, functioning the best it can be, an alternative to that doesn't necessarily make it better. Uh, I also believe that the models that we had as young people um, weren't the healthiest models. Um, as we can see that this country right now is being shaken because we're paying for mistakes made in the 60s, the ma mistakes made in the 70s, and uh, <clears throat> um, the government, even as of, as of yesterday, <clears throat> introduced in the, in the House of Representatives, H.R. 6, pushing through a, uh, you know, a major bill to, to put a band-aid on, uh, on the education system of this country, and uh, things like um, putting a virtual stop to homeschooling, um, making private schools uh, fall in line with public schools. Um, all the things that we were concerned about, Big Brothers watching and so forth, is coming to pass. Um, we also had a desire to have to create an environment where we could easily speak our minds and so forth when the educational system of, the, of this uh, of this country isn't allowing free ideas to even be associated. In other words, if, if it isn't from academia and um, the things that are new in this world, uh, they don't want to hear it. Um, I, think you're right. I think you're right, but there's also, the, see, what, what a lot of times happens is people think there's only one type of school that's right for everybody. Probably what you need is maybe six types of school that's right for a lot of different people. And everybody's trying to adopt one system, saying, all right, this is the system we want to use, whether it's Maslow Top or public school or private school or home schooling. There's got to be a mix rather than just one ideological way to go. And uh, a lot of people thrive in different environments. And you need Some people need a militaristic environment. Some people have to have the parameters. They have to have the, uh, the whip at their back. People need that. There's other people that don't need that. There's other more creative, more imaginative people that need something more free or more open, like the Muslim platform. But you can't say that one is right, one is wrong. You know, it really has to be a mix, I think. Anyway. Well, I, I have to give, I have to, you know, look, um, you know, statistically at, at the history of the school and, and its... Uh, graduates? So. Uh, its graduates. I have to look at um, the... the the length of school ran, the success of the school, you know, and, and I, I just don't see success here. I see, I see. You are talking about Maslow Top. Oh, yeah. You said we before in the 60s and 70s. No, I'm just saying that as a, as a country, I'm, well, I'm just, okay, well, I'm just saying that, that given, given a, and, and I'm sorry that I'm, I'm all over the place, but I, I wasn't 
even ready to speak. Thank you, Joyce. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, sounded pretty great to me. <laughs> my, my, my concern, you know, as a, as a student of Maslow, and, and it's and it's real nice to re reminisce and so forth and look back, but my concern now is more of um, is is more of of the teenager. Now, what would I do in, if I was given the opportunity? Um, and if I had, system. Let me ask no, not create a system. I'm, I'm talking about would I would I support uh, would I support Maslow in, in 1990 and 19 uh, today? I, I appreciate your concern it's true. about uh -huh. the way children are being uh, taught today mm -hmm. and the educational system. But I'd like to know because you said we uh, how you felt. It seems that you feel that Maslow Tafla was not good for you, and I'd like to know if you feel that. Oh, because I, I you personal, don't oh, generalize us because no, I no, completely I'm saying disagree we as, with you. Well, no, we as a nation, I'm not talking about I'll we as a school. Okay. Well, I can't forget that. Um, well, I can look at it. It's just too broad. What do we got about 15 minutes? Well, I can, Mill said, <laughs> uh, uh, said one thing about me, uh, um, and he said that I had a problem with freedom and structure. And, uh, and I, I looked over that when, um, you know, when I had an opportunity to look back. I just, I just really saw uh, myself personally. I went against the two educators that, that signed the uh, permission slip for us to go in. Uh, one was Mrs. Horowitz, who uh, <clears throat> passed away a couple of years ago, and uh, one I don't even remember. But uh, they signed me in and against their better judgment. Um, my parents did the same thing. My mother signed me against her better judgment. Uh, all the, you know, all the, the people who had who had foundation, all the people that, that had, um, that had, you know, outlook on life, you know, I rejected and went to Maslow. And I just saw a, a senior year of just attending a, an everyday party, you know. I didn't feel that way at all. Well, How I did was, you feel, uh, Charlie? Completely positive. Every, everything was positive for me because I was school. Um, I could understand what you're saying, and I'm sure there was a small percentage who took advantage of the system that was offered to us. But I felt, with that, number one, relaxed atmosphere in the school, uh, with the teachers, uh, when you're that uh, in touch with your own feelings and, and relaxed, I was able, I was more involved. I was more interested in doing uh, different things. As a matter of fact, I thought I, I did too much. I couldn't say no to a couple of different programs. And I wound up dropping out like halfway in a couple different programs, which later on upset me. I think I still have that problem today with not saying no to, to people if they need help or when I get so many things to do myself. But I, I had nothing but a positive experience from Oslo Tafla. That environment, what I think, was better for me than the high school. Um, I, a lot of it is that 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 personal. <coughs> feeling at ease with the teachers, the caring. We were a family. We were a family sharing just like we're doing now. We, you don't do this in public school. And you, don't, you don't communicate with each other like don't this in forget, public school. Don't forget, Russell Tompla was trying to gear you up to start off life and give you a jump on life, a jump on the next year, the first, you know, the first year of getting out there, if you weren't, and give you some, some kind of direction. All right. For instance, if it wasn't for Mazel Tafla, all right, I would have never designed, a, uh, helped design a park in, in uh, for the ISOP uh, district, all right? I was involved with that. Something that, that would have never happened, even after high school. They gave me the opportunity to get in and to do this. Mm -hmm. That was, that was one of, just one of my things. Mm -hmm. Every, everybody else has something that they had a goal in to do. And that was, that was a reason for Mazel Tov, to give you a goal, set a goal. Not necessarily to, to have that goal and ha have it happen, but to, to have something to go for. There were many, many kids in the high school that, that didn't have a direction. Not even a clue. All right? And maybe a lot of, a lot of you know, at that time, a lot of kids that were in Mazel Tov, they thought it was a, a free ride, okay? It wasn't a free ride, all right? There were a lot of people there that took advantage of that, all right? And in the theater part, 
every, every, everybody had their own thing, okay? And Mazel Toplik gave you the opportunity to work and concentrate on that one thing that interests you, okay? Instead of being in that high school and having to deal with, I gotta go from this class to this class, this class, well, but that days. teacher really didn't care what I was doing to the next class, or the next class, or the next class. It gave a reason. I think it was it was a uh, yeah, that's what it was. It provided a vehicle for creativity. Mm -hmm. it, it was the impetus for me to even think that I could go to college. I read like more books in one year than I ever read in my whole life. I didn't even know I could read. I like I said I didn't know a vocabulary. I didn't know how to look up books. Now I get off on figuring out something that I don't know and I have the confidence to know that I can do it. And I totally think that that was a result of being in that type of environment that allowed me to be who I am freely express myself and be accepted. Something I wasn't really even given the opportunity to do maybe in my own home. Yeah. Now, I have two kids and one child I would say definitely this would not, my kids are 12 and 15. Definitely one would not work. But my 15 year old, he started high school this year. He can benefit from this, I mean, he can make blow well, your mind in the things that he can invent. He had a failed he's a in school. Yeah. I and feel it not might even work more now. Sometimes I feel it, it would work more now in this mm -hmm. generation, this time, well, than like, in ours. It's like Steve said before, there's, there could be nine different systems. We're all individuals. Maslow was one thing for some people, one thing for other people. Um, I've talked to people from the year I graduated, and they told me things I didn't even know went on. I was like, well, we at the same school. Um, it's very easy when people give you what they expect of you. Okay, you're in ninth grade, do this, 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 and this. Now you're in twelfth grade, do this, this. That's it. You know exactly what's expected of you. Then adults come around and tell you, what do you expect from you? And the floor drops because nobody's ever said that to you before. Mm -hmm. What do you expect from you? And that was the scariest thing for me at Mazda. Because all of a sudden I had to look within. I said, where am I going? What am I doing? What are my goals for me? What do you mean nobody's going to tell me what to do? I didn't know how to function. And, um, you know, creative, creatively, I would, I'm not exactly the most artsy fartsy person in the world, but creativity doesn't have to come out in oils or in colors. It can come out in the type of books you read. It can come out in the things you say, what you do for your fellow man. You know, you can be, have two left feet, but yet be a kind human being. You don't have to have Barbara Streisand's voice. You know, you're a nurse. You give to society every day of your life. You know, so we each got our own thing out of Thank you for that perception. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, some people did not get anything help. out of it. That's why the school, what we were the chosen ones. Yeah. Unfortunately, in life and death, you sometimes it's not you 100% wrong. success rate. Yeah. Well, I mean, my, my employer doesn't say to me, well, I want you to be creative for the next hour, so here's some money. Um, you know. Every job has uh, some sort of thing. Well, like, I'm, I'm, have the only reason why I'm swinging, uh, unfortunately, I don't want to use the term far right, is because it's, the, you know, it's, I'm, I'm not saying not be opinionated, I mean not be creative. I'm not saying not be this, not be that, not be this. I'm saying that um, I, would, I would like to see, you know, statistically, um, you know, our, our graduates. Uh, I would like to see statistically how many were given to uh, drug and alcohol abuse. I would like to see statistically uh, our survivability rate as, as people, you know, and, and, and then say... No, that's important okay, to know that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like, like to see that because this is, this is, this is quaint and that, it's emotional. And that it's would be 